Let's discuss the no-slip condition and its use in angular kinematics. In summary, for a rolling object against some surface, its position, velocity, and acceleration are related to its rotational quantities through the radius. This video will discuss the relationship of magnitudes only, the directionality of angular quantities will be the subject of a different video. In a previous video, we have derived the relationship between angular displacement and arc length. The relationship is through the radius as long as the angular displacement is measured in radians. We are now going to place our rotating object on a surface and have it roll along without slipping. During that motion, it is going to have a linear displacement as well. Because the surfaces are not slipping at the contact point relative to each other, there will be a one-to-one -one match between arc position along the rolling object and linear position along the level ground. The arc length will equal exactly the linear displacement. You can sort of think about it as unrolling a measuring tape without letting it slip. The displacement of the measuring tape's center will match the displacement along the surface. Because the displacement and the arc length are the same, and the time of motion is shared, for the rest of the kinematic quantities, you just need to take the time derivative and see that for velocity versus angular velocity, or acceleration versus angular acceleration, they are still related through the radius. The no slip condition can be applied no matter which object is moving. It can be a round object rolling on a stationary surface as before, or it can be a stationary pulley with a string around it, and it's the length of string that moves relative to the pulley.
one final warning about the proper use of the no slip condition make sure that the radius you are using is the point of no slip contact the object might have alternate dimensions such as an outer radius if this is the case make sure to check that you are using the radius where the string actually wraps inside the object 